Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Have you ever wanted to dive into the world of cybersecurity and ethical hacking? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're cracking open the wickedly awesome world of open source intelligence, or OSINT, using Kali Linux. You know how much I love me some Linux. We'll be diving into some seriously powerful tools. Maltigo, The Harvester, Shodan, Recon, Spiderfoot, Census, Foca, and Metagoofle. Each one is like a Swiss army knife for cybersecurity, and I'm going to show you how to use them all. So buckle up, smash that like button for the algorithm, and let's get our OSINT on. All right, let's kick things off with a bang. First up, we have Maltego, and this, my friends, is the real deal. Imagine a giant digital corkboard where you can connect all sorts of information, like people, companies, websites, you name it. That's Maltego in a nutshell. It helps you visualize those connections, making it way easier to see the bigger picture. You give it a piece of information, like an email address or a domain name, and boom, Maltigo goes out there and scours the web for anything and everything related to it. You'll be amazed at what it can dig up. Social media profiles, IP addresses, even physical locations. And the best part, it connects all this data visually, so you can see how it all ties together. But here's the thing. Maltigo is only as good as the information you feed it. So, if you want to get the most out of it, you need to be smart about your searches. And that's where your OSINT skills come in. Remember, we're not talking about hacking into systems here. We're talking about using publicly available information to our advantage. Get it downloaded, get it installed, and let's move on to the next piece of the puzzle. Next up, we have The Harvester. And let me tell you, this tool is all about gathering that sweet, sweet information. Think of it like your trusty sidekick, always there to lend a helping hand, or in this case, a helping script. The Harvester is specifically designed to collect information from public sources, and when I say public, I mean public. We're talking search engines, social media platforms, even those obscure websites you've never heard of. Now you might be thinking, Linus, why do I need a tool for that? Can't I just use Google? And the answer is sure, you could. But the Harvester takes things to a whole new level. It automates the whole process, saving you a ton of time and effort. Just feed it a target, like a company name or a domain, and it'll go out there and scour the web for anything and everything related to it. Email addresses, usernames, subdomains, IP addresses, you name it, the Harvester will find it. And the best part is, it presents all this information in a nice, organized format, making it super easy to digest. So yeah, the Harvester is a pretty versatile tool. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to enter the wild world of Shodan. And this, my friends, is not your grandma's search engine. While Google is busy indexing websites and cat videos, Shodan is out there indexing the Internet of Things. And by things, I mean everything. We're talking servers, webcams, industrial control systems, traffic lights, you name it. If it's connected to the Internet, Shodan probably knows about it. Now you might be thinking, Linus, why would I want to search for traffic lights? And the answer is, you might not. But Shodan isn't just about finding random devices, it's about understanding what's connected to the internet and how it's configured. And that information can be incredibly valuable, especially for security researchers and, dare I say, ethical hackers. For example, let's say you're tasked with testing the security of a client's network. You could use Shodan to see what devices are publicly accessible, what ports they're running, and even what operating systems they're using. Talk about juicy information, but with great power comes great responsibility, my friends. Chapter 4. Recon Eng, your Web Reconnaissance Command Center. Get ready to dive into the world of reconning, a tool that's like having your own personal Web Reconnaissance Command Center. This isn't some point-and-click software. Reconning is for those who like to get their hands dirty with the command line. Now, reconning might seem a bit intimidating at first, with its text-based interface and all those cryptic commands. But trust me, once you get the hang of it, you'll be navigating the world of web reconnaissance like a pro. It's all about efficiency, 
and this tool is built for speed. Reconang is modular, meaning it's made up of different components or modules that you can use to gather different types of information. Need to find out who's hosting a particular website? There's a module for that. Want to discover subdomains associated with a domain? There's a module for that too. Think of it like building a custom toolset for your OSINT needs. You pick and choose the modules that are relevant to your investigation and Recon Neng does the rest. It's like having a team of specialized robots working tirelessly to gather intelligence for you. Chapter 5. Spiderfoot. Automating your OSINT investigations. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to unleash the power of automation with Spiderfoot. This tool is all about making your OSINT investigations faster, more efficient, and dare I say, more enjoyable. Imagine this. You're trying to gather information about a particular target, but it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. You're manually searching through websites, social media profiles, and who knows what else. It's tedious, time-consuming, and frankly, a little soul-crushing. That's where Spiderfoot comes in. This tool automates the entire OSINT process, from data collection to analysis and visualization. You just feed it a target, like a domain name, an IP address, or even a person's name, and it does the rest. Spiderfoot crawls the web, scouring hundreds of data sources for anything and everything related to your target. We're talking websites, social media profiles, email addresses, phone numbers, IP addresses, and a whole lot more. And the best part is, Spiderfoot is incredibly easy to use. Chapter 6. Census. Mapping the Internet's Hidden Landscape. Get ready to explore the Internet like never before with Census, a tool that's like having X-ray vision for the digital world. Forget Google Maps. Census is all about mapping the Internet's hidden landscape, revealing the devices, networks, and connections that make up the backbone of the digital world. Census works by scanning the entire internet, collecting data on everything from web servers and routers to industrial control systems and IoT devices. It's like having a team of digital surveyors constantly mapping out the ever-changing terrain of the internet. But Census doesn't just collect data, it makes sense of it. It analyzes the data it collects, identifying patterns, relationships, and potential vulnerabilities. It's like having a team of data analysts working tirelessly behind the scenes to uncover the hidden stories behind the numbers. So, what can you do with Census? Well, for starters, you can use it to get a better understanding of your own attack surface. By seeing how your organization's devices and networks are exposed to the internet, you can identify and fix potential vulnerabilities before attackers do. You can also use Census to research potential targets. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Chapter 7. FOCA. Uncovering hidden treasures in your documents. Let's dive into the world of metadata with FOCA, a tool that's like having X-ray vision for your files. Metadata is like a digital fingerprint, revealing a document's creation, modification, and software used. FOCA extracts metadata from various file types, verifying authenticity and uncovering hidden details. Chapter 8. Metagoofle, your metadata mining machine. Get ready to dig deep into the world of metadata with Metagoofle, a tool that's like having a gold mine of information at your fingertips. Metagoofle extracts metadata from public documents, revealing hidden information like usernames, software versions, and email addresses. It crawls websites, identifies documents, and extracts their metadata. This can help build a profile of a target organization and uncover sensitive information. Well, there you have it, folks. We've just scratched the surface of what's possible with OSINT and Kali Linux. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful, but it's up to you to use them responsibly and ethically. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of OSINT, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. We've got a ton of great stuff coming up, so stay tuned, stay curious, and most importantly,